say this off the top of these interviews with Dr. Goldstein. <laughs> Take the kiddos out of the room. And I say, why? We're talking sex medicine uh, to treat baldness. Uh, but there's a side effect with a lot of people that, that doesn't really go over well. So Dr. Erwin Goldstein is with us, sex, sexual health medicine from Alvarado Hospital. So what's the deal? So the deal is, uh, we have to take a few steps backwards, so there's a thing called male pattern baldness, baldness and female pattern baldness. It's called androgenic alopecia, male or female. Okay. And it's uh, a, a pattern of baldness that affects 70% of men. I mean, I have it too, so it's okay. back here. Yeah. Uh, and it's also thinning here. Yeah. Uh, and in women, it's primarily here. Uh -huh. um, really? And it's associated with a hormone in your body called dihydrotestosterone, okay. which is made from testosterone with this special enzyme. Okay. So uh, if your scalp has too much dihydrotestosterone, you get thinner. Okay. So there are companies who've developed some uh, FDA approved products uh, to help men uh, with their hair loss. So there's uh, a drug called finasteride. Mm -hmm. It's the name of the drug is Propecia. Millions of people have been exposed to it. 1998 when it was officially approved. And it can be shown to help with hair loss. However, um, it is now being experienced by our profession, the sex and medicine profession. There's an awful lot of people who during the time they use it, they get a sexual problem, but worse, when they stop using it, the sexual problem persists. So that really? condition, yeah, is called- Indefinitely? Indefinitely, in many <gasps> cases, yeah. What? Yeah, so it's no good. It's called post-finasteride syndrome, PFS. What? And we're talking today about a report. The, the report was by Dr. Erwig. He's an endocrinologist in uh, um, the East Coast, and he uh, is, um, um, advising uh, people to to consider the sexual side effects before using the hair loss drug. So is there, is, it's, I've always thought that the hair loss was due to high levels of testosterone. Is that so, true? So I have two cups. Okay. <laughs> and a ball. Okay. So this is testosterone. Right. In the presence of this enzyme, it's called 5-alpha reductase, testosterone will convert to this product, which is dihydrotestosterone. Right. So it's almost correct that testosterone affects hair, but it's dihydrotestosterone. But isn't dihydrotestosterone good for you? Doesn't it give you energy and give you strength? Uh, it's and how testosterone works. Okay, it's gotcha. Dihydrotestosterone. It's, it's like the, the, the gas in the car that makes it go kind of thing? Perfect, yes. Yeah. Uh, except that if you take the drug, this enzyme won't work anymore. So what do you think about the hair loss then? What do you do? Guys don't want to lose their hair. You know, they don't well, like that. Well, I mean, um, it's this risk-benefit thing. Yeah. Uh, we see that in men all the time and women all the time, and uh, you have to think how important is your hair loss versus how important your sexual life is. We don't know how many men actually get this syndrome, wow. but we have thousands of people with this condition now, PFS, post finasteride syndrome. So let's go over the, the item. This final product, dihydrotestosterone, okay, is an important for genital health. It's also important for the prostate, and it shrivels the prostate in these 18, 20, 25 year old people. Interesting. So when they have an experience, there's less volume that's exchanged because the is prostate there, is much smaller. Does it affect smaller. their fertility as well? It can affect fertility. Interesting. But we're doing the sex stuff today. Right, yeah, that's so not So they you know. have low desire because dihydrotestosterone what? gives them the interest. For, but for women too, will it low desire? So this isn't approved for women. This is sort but of. But women a, use it. Women right? use it off-label. Okay. But this no is a male thing. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to. Can we talk about women yet, or do you, did you want to say more? Um, I, well, there's two more other things. Okay. And then ahead. we'll do it to women. But okay. thank you. Yes. I love yes. You. You no. Know thank that. you. Okay. So <laughs> that um, uh, um, this enzyme, this important thing, which is blocked by this drug finasteride, yeah. is an important enzyme for five very critical. Uh, uh, exchanges of X to Y. Yeah. So on this drug, even though you're taking it for hair loss, you can't make very, very important chemicals that give you thinking, cognition, and give you mood. So <gasps> the entire syndrome mood. is beyond sexual. These people have panic and anxiety <gasps> and depression they never had before, and they have brain fog. They can't think. They don't have executive skills anymore. They can't make decisions, can't find words for sentences. This is a nightmare. We have people with, uh, who are attorneys, who are teachers, who are physicians. Oh they can't gosh. practice their profession anymore. Okay, we only have a little bit of time left. You have something okay. big coming up. June 4th, which was... Well, Ju last June 4th, yeah. Three weeks ago, the FDA's advisory committee approved, 18 to 6, the first ever drug in the world 
for a non-hormonal use for a woman's sexual health. And you were a part of that? I was Whoa. there. It was very exciting. We, <laughs> it was 10 long hours of discussions. We went ahead to the Hill. We, we spoke with our representative, Susan Davis, uh, Scott Peters. It was fabulous. They were very supportive. Die it was really cool. Die Fi was there, right? You yeah, talked to Die Fi? And, and Diane Feinstein. Yeah, right. So, so the thing was, uh, now August 18 is the ultimate deciding vote by the FDA. And if it's positive, I'm going to be here on the 19th. And there, we'll I mean, talk is there about any it. reason there would be no, a no? No, they can't. They, okay, this is uh, huge news. Will you come back yeah. on the show? Oh, yeah. This is a big uh, the 19th deal. We'll be here. So this is not a not an introduction of a of a either a bioidentical hormone or, or a synthetic no, no. hormone. This is something else that goes a totally different route to yeah, treat your, your brain sexual is dysfunction for women. The first ever in the entire World. world yeah and i want to know by the way the advisory panel if you want to talk to dr goldstein <laughs> go to our website and we'll put you in touch with him um on the advisory panel heather there were um it was 18 to six, six. Yes. i want to know who the six people were that <laughs> said no. I have their names. you have their names <laughs> i know it's, it's a matter of public record so i just i'm just curious I maybe i'll call one of them and be like why why in the world would you say no to something yeah, like who that who would not want women to have better sex life please I, explain yeah, this maybe you know who knows who knows maybe there's something we don't know <laughs> dr goldstein thank you so, thank much. You so much and i can't wait Hopefully we'll see you with some good news here in the next Fabulous few Fabulous news. Historic news.